Hi, this is Kylie Koo. April's hashtag event from the Creative Arts Collaboration is hashtag Trash to Treasure. It's based on art and craft using recycled items. And today I'll be making some decoupaged candle holders. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you the items that I'll be using. So, some old envelopes and specifically I'll be using the windows from these envelopes. For a second candle holder, I'll be using some deli paper. I'm using two old glass jam jars. These have been thoroughly washed out and the labels taken from the outside. I'll use my little box, little container of old paints, old inks, etc. Paintbrush, glue brush as required. I'll probably also use a roller just because I can spread paint quickly with it. And my usual random items of household waste that I use for stamping. And you can see more of the items that I use in previous videos on eco-journaling. I'll also be using two glues today. I'm using the two different glues just to see if they have a different effect at the end of the day, whether one's better than the other. So let's get started on this. I'm going to cut out from a number of envelopes the actual little window section. At this point I'll leave a bit of the paper around it. So I'm just checking that I've got enough to do one of the jars. I'm now just taking a number of paints And I've already got it all over my hands, but I'll now just roller it onto the windows. And I'm just using the excess onto the sheets of daily paper. I now want to take some contrasting colours and put these onto the windows. And I'm now going to use my recycled items to do the stamping. I'm not looking to create any particular pattern here, really just random. I'm now just scrunching up the deli paper just to give it a bit of added texture. And as I did with the windows, I'll now stamp using the recycled items. I'll just stamp onto the deli paper. Now that the windows have dried a bit, I'm going to cut them out. I did think about leaving a small edge round the window, which I was going to paint black to give it a kind of 
leaded glass look, but I decided to actually just take the full window piece out. So I hadn't pressed record uh, in good time here, so I'm already into uh, tearing up the daily paper and sticking it down onto one of the glass jars. So I've really just torn it into small pieces and I'm placing it all around the jar. Once I have it all stuck in place, I then go over it with the glue. I haven't tried this with ordinary PVA glue, but I'm sure it would work just as well. I'm now taking the second jar and I'm taking the windows from the window envelopes and I'm going to do similar with these and stick them down. Just using a different glue this time. Now because these are bigger pieces I haven't gone quite as far up as I did with the deli paper so I'm just trying to push down the corner pieces. That proved a little bit more difficult than I expected and I go back to it later. But as I did with the uh, first one I will go over it with some glue. I just uh, wanted to let that first layer harden a bit. So I've decided that I'll also do the lids and uh, I'm just going to use the daily paper on these. Now though, although I'm calling these uh, candle holders, these jars could be used for a number of different things. For example, they could be used as vases for flowers or they could be used as storage containers. For example, uh, you could keep paint brushes or something like that in them. I did look at the items that I was using to try and determine whether any were flammable. So I, I tried to look for some advice on the glue, but I couldn't find anything for certain. Uh, but obviously, as with all candles, you do need to, to be careful when using candles. And probably within these I'll just use the, the little faux tea lights. So if you do decide to make these then, then please do take care if you're using real candles in particular. So the lids were a little bit tricky but once I got it all stuck down I just left them to dry 
and then later on I went back and cut off the rough edges. So now just going over them with glue as well. And although the glue appears to go on white, it does dry clear. So going back to the one with the uh, windows and now just going over it with glue as well. Both the deli paper and the envelope windows created a similar effect and both lots of glue worked equally well. So if you want to see work by other artists uh, where they turn trash to treasure then type that hashtag into the YouTube search bar and you'll see other work by CAC members. Yesterday I created art cards from trash so please go take a look at that video if you haven't done so already. But please remember, be candle aware and stay safe if you are using candles. Thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I hope you join me again for others.